Yeah, bud. Can't forget where your dog's at, though. Where your dog's at. Yep. Hey everyone, Spencer, snowboard expert with curated.com. Helped hundreds of customers find the right gear for their riding. And today we were out at Powder Mountain testing out some new 2023 gear. And I was able to try out the Burton Good Company. And just so you know, we are not affiliated with any brand or company. So we're gonna give you guys a totally unbiased review. Burton claims that this is gonna be a great true twin full camber board. First impressions of this board were that it was extremely easy to ride. When you put on a traditional camber board underneath your feet and you are a true lover of snowboarding, you just feel good. And if you need help finding the right gear for your next adventure, feel free to reach out to me or any of my fellow experts and we will get you all set up and ready to go. The pop in this thing is phenomenal. I wasn't able to take it into the park, but I was able to take it on a little bit of a border cross run with some with some rollers in it. But I was able to do my really, really short radius turn switch, which if you were gonna take this through the park, your approach on your jumps would be super easy. You would be able to land switch. You'd be able to throw your 180s, 360s. It's gonna have extreme pop in it because of that traditional camber profile. And it's really gonna dominate in the park and it's gonna dominate all mountain. This board is really damp. It absorbed everything that I hit today and there was no underfoot chatter. So if you're gonna ride in fresh snow, I would not recommend this board for you. Just because it's true twin, full camber board, tip to tail, it's going to be fighting against you on that snow. It's gonna almost like wanna dig into it. So fresher days, definitely grab a better board for that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a beginner beginner, but someone who wants to get on a traditional camber board and try and get into the park. If you are someone that doesn't necessarily want a noodle, but wants that full cambered experience, and also wants a true twin, this is gonna be your jam. So for this board, I would recommend more of like a higher intermediate to expert rider looking for an aggressive carving camber board that's gonna pop and just be super stable on any jump line, but not the most rail friendly board, but it's gonna be a sick board for those jump guys. So every board and every model is gonna ride way different for every single person out there. If you need help finding the right board for your riding, be sure to hit the link in the description below and we'll take care of you. If you liked the video, make sure to hit subscribe and prepare for more curated.com videos.